What is up, my Lorcana goons? Welcome back to the Lorcana goons channel. Today is Friday, February 23rd, and you are watching the weekly market watch. Congratulations, we've made it into the ink lens. And as you can tell, we have a bunch of stuff to talk about today. So be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you are a Lorcana goon and you like this content because it does support the channel. But let's get on into this news into the ink lens launch today. So we're going to look at some prices. But first, I do want to go over some new that we posted in our discord link in the description below by the way yeah, um so look so at disneyland today there was troves there was gift sets there was a variety of things but they already sold out so disneyland socal pin traders opened at 7 a.m and they had starter decks they had the sleeves the booster packs if you guys wanted the mats they also had the play mats there the gift sets the troves and several people were posting that um they were letting people loop the line which is normal because at disneyland you can just do that right um but uh as of an hour ago they're already sold out so disneyland opened the the store at 7 a.m um, and I want to say by like 1030, we were already seeing posts like this saying, heard all the mats and the troves are gone. Somebody posted, no more troves at Pin Traders, got the last two. And somebody else posted that when they were opening their troves, some of the discard cards look a little different. So that is something else I want to go over. The discard cards, we're normally used to seeing them with black with white text. And in Into the Inklands, they have a yellow background with a black text. So that's another piece of news for you if you guys didn't know. Let me know what you guys think of that. But yeah, man, the troves and the gift sets are already so um the gift sets are pretty much almost sold out too from what i've heard but yeah the troves and the um play mats and most of the other things from downtown disney pinchers are going to be sold out you might be able to get some booster packs you might be able to get the starter decks if you still uh, make it on time by the end of the day um last time they did this for rise of the floodborne um they ended up restocking like a, a, throughout the weekend they restocked again the next day so you know if you feel confident maybe go ahead and go back tomorrow and see if you can get more but yeah the mats sold out already so that was pretty crazy to see um and then we're gonna see how this makes an impact on the prices because they did this with rise of the floodborne and with the rise of the floodborne um the, the prices for the gift set just plummeted everybody was so hyped on reselling the gift sets and all the scalpers you know they got screwed over because um they printed way more more than enough basically um to go around but you know we'll see how long this lasts uh, we'll see how uh, what time they end up selling out but we do have some other news to cover right here um we had a some information about an event yesterday that was happening in france um shout out the illumiteers by the way for making some of these posts um but we have the first preview of the prelude box here um which is going to be um sold between sets four and five um and this prelude box is going to contain um basically i think it's a two two um, mini decks of like 60 cards um to basically teach new players how to play the game from the new player perspective in an attempt to get people to obviously buy the product and this was launched at some like france event and look at these beautiful pictures bro there is some videos as well um shout out to these accounts on x for getting these images for us um they had a full immersive lorcana experience which was pretty crazy to see look at that they have like the grand illuminary lit and <laughs> lit up in the middle of the room that looks pretty awesome there's a couple more pictures as well if you guys want to go see this info be sure to follow the illumiteers on x they are an awesome lorcana content creator if you don't know who they are and they keep us posted frequently on the news wow this is this is pretty awesome <laughs> you know uh, to see this to see uh ravensburger going this big for lorcana um, you know to, to premiere or to showcase it at some of these like big gaming conventions so that's always nice to see i'm very i'm very appreciative of that but check out these into the inklands booster box prices today is the official launch day so now we actually get to see what happens with the booster boxes with the singles etc etc so if you do want a booster box still online there's plenty to go around there's 51 listings but most of these stores have like more than 10 listings available um so you can just grab as many as you want uh burlington card shop shout out you guys has it for as low as 123 dollars so you know that's at least 20 bucks less than msrp which is really good to see However, the troves are not going to be at MSRP. Right now, if you want one online through TCG Player, you can get one from Nutmeg Games for $80. And like I just mentioned, Disneyland just had, you know, a bunch of troves that they just sold today. And they already sold out within the first couple hours. But I do feel like this is going to impact the price a little bit. I don't think these are going to be $80 by next two weeks or so. Because um, Disneyland, you know, had troves. They might restock more. Um, we're not the only Disneyland that had them too. Apparently, the one in Florida had it too. And the ones in Paris 
Paris. So there's going to be a decent amount to go around, I think. And overall, like I said, they let people loop the line. They did the same thing with the gift sets. And look at the D100 collector's gift sets. These are as low as $64. People were pre-ordering these for like $300 or more. So as you can see, the prices for these plummeted. So I don't think you should really be paying this much for the Into the Inklands gift set. It'll probably be just a little bit cheaper on the reseller's market. And in general, I think you should look on OfferUp or Facebook Marketplace and try and make some good deals for those because there's going to be a lot of resellers who went to Disneyland and bought a bunch of them. And I guarantee you they're going to have a hard time getting rid of them. And I know this because I've dealt with some of these resellers. And most of the time, they're usually pretty cool about um, making a deal with you because they just want to get rid of them because they feel like they bought too much. And then there's enough to go around. But I did hear that a lot of local game stores did not get like a good allocation for the gift sets, the mats, and the troves. Most of my local game stores have said they didn't get any. The ones that did get them have told me we are just doing raffles. We're not going to be selling them to the people. So that's kind of interesting to see. I want to even go as far as to say that a lot of the priority went to the Disneyland stores, which is kind of crazy. But that's it for sealed product. You know, like I mentioned, it is the very first day for Into the Inklands launch. Maybe um, you might want to take a little step back before you invest on buying those like $80 troves. But the troves are different this time around. They come with a lore counter, with some dice, and with some dividers for your cards. Very different than the first chapter and the Rise of the Floodborne troves, which used to have the little booklet. These don't have no booklet. So, you know, if I do feel like if you have the first chapter and the Rise of the Floodborne troves, they're very unique to the future of Lurkana. By the way, these booster boxes are going to have the Saran Wrap. So these are very unique to Lurkana as well. It's a first in the Lurkana um, space that, we, that, that we're that we getting. Um, booster boxes with the Saran Wrap and the Troves that have a unique experience basically. But let's get in on to some of these single prices because now that Inkland is officially here, we can see the real prices of some of these cards. This is why we always say do not buy the pre-order singles. I know people were buying this Jafar online for like $50, $60. And I and we were talking about last Monday how that was a little bit ridiculous. But as of last night, plenty of sales happening for that $30 range. Even the cold foils were selling for $45. So just to far, Striking Illusionist is probably one of the most hype legendaries in the set um, on throughout the week and throughout last week people were paying like $60 pre-ordering this card and I thought that was just super super silly and now now today we have 101 listings live and available meaning that the lowest verified is going to be by John's Entertainment for $24.23 I was looking at this last night and it was at $35 and then I looked at it this morning before I recorded this video and it was like at $30 I went to the gym I did some work and now I'm looking at it again and it's at $25 the prices are going to keep going lower and lower because there's so much to go around so please Please, if you don't need to build your deck by this weekend, maybe be a little bit patient and see where the meta goes before you start making some of these crazy buys on some of these prices. The cold foil version for this Jafar is only going for $35, which like I said, that's the price I saw it for last night. So that's kind of cool to see. Um, the JR squad for $35, they have you there. I think that's a really good price in my opinion, especially when we've seen the um, Beast Tragic Hero shoot up to as high as like $60 for the foil. So if you think Jafar Strike and Illusionist is going to be a card that you plan on playing throughout the whole meta, maybe you want to pick it up for $35 on the foil instead of you know you paying $10 less for the non-foil I think cold foils are just much better in order for you to maintain some value but there's a couple other legendaries um that are really popular in into the inklands that people are really trying to get um like the Robin Hood champion of Sherwood this card is currently selling for $21 John's Entertainment again you guys have the lowest price today shout out you guys um like I said uh all the pre-sale prices are just dipping obviously because people were you know unfortunately paying over way too much for these but as of today you can get these for $21 and we have a cold foil sale today for $38.70 but let's take a look at the lowest verified listing now because who knows when that cold foil was sold so today $36.89 so again about 10 bucks more for the foil um, versus the non-foil might which is I think you might want to consider getting because there's a lot of volatility in these cards when it comes to like the non-foil range so I just like buying foils personally I think this card's good, don't get me wrong, um, but I think this might be a little bit too expensive overall, um, just because I don't think the card is going to be played that much either, and like I said, I think there's going to be plenty to go around, so I'm expecting uh, this Robin Hood to fall to as low as like $15 by the end of the weekend, maybe even uh, $12 by next week. Um, same thing with like cards like Grandma Tala, um, actually this card has been falling throughout the night, <laughs> so today we have a, a Lois Verified for In The Zone for $8.50, so you can get two of them, and hey, some people have like a bunch of listings too, so if you just want to go 
go through one seller, like Mox Valley Games, you can buy all four of your play. You can buy all four of your copies, your whole playset, right here by buying eight of them, which will save you a little bit of money on some shipping fees. The Cold Foil Grandma Tala Legendary is going to be selling for twenty two dollars and fifty cents. Lowest verified Rico sales. Shout out you guys. Let's go ahead and look at Maleficent Mistress of Evil. This is one of the most like I think less sought after legendaries um, in the set, and it's going to be selling for as low as six dollars and forty four cents. And if you're just a collector who wants to collect these cards and you don't mind paying um, some of these prices, maybe pick it up right now. Uh, these could go a little bit lower though. The lowest verified for the foil is going to be A plus cards for fourteen dollars. I think that's pretty good. Um, Hydra Deadly Serpent. This legendary is also not that popular right now, um, and they've been selling for as low as seven dollars today. In the zone has you for seven dollars and thirty cents. And our next legendary from Into the Inklands is Mickey Mouse Trumpeteer. A lot of people think this card sucks. <laughs> you know what I mean? So because of that, it's selling for as low as seven ninety four with twenty five cent shipping by John's Entertainment. I think this card's actually not bad. Uh, low key, I feel like people are sleeping on this card, so I might want to pick up some foils myself, especially because it's a Mickey Mouse card. And we've all seen how some of the Mickey Mouse cards just end up being pretty popular, especially when they're legendaries like the Mickey PLT. Uh, lowest verified for the foil is only sixteen dollars, and A Plus Cards has one for sixteen seventy three, and they have seven of them. So like I mentioned, if you just want to get all four from one person, so that you don't have to pay shipping every for every single seller you buy it from, maybe consider getting it all from that one seller. Check this out. Lucky Dime is selling for as low as three dollars and sixty eight cents. Now I thought there was a lot of hype behind Lucky Dime. Um, obviously, this was before all the card all the cards were released, and um, it seems like people kind of just thought, forgot about this card, and now we're kind of in this zone of like, ah, oh, this card's not that good, right? So it's selling for less than five dollars for a legendary. This is almost like gone to level, which is very interesting to see. And again, there's so many listings right out the gate. There's so many listings, and this is barely the first day, the first few hours from the first day. So if you do want Lucky Dime, it's as low as three sixty eight by in the zone. So that's kind of cool. And if you want to foil Lucky Dime, which I think again is much better for your pocket much better for your value they're only ten dollars and ten dollars for this legendary that i honestly think has high potential for a foil is, is pretty cool we've seen how some of the foil legendaries just shoot up to ridiculous prices like the beast relentless from that we saw from uh, the last from last monday right <laughs> so you know when hype is real some of these cards will shoot up just letting you guys know so go with your gut kita protector of atlantis this legendary is really popular i think mufasa decks are really strong i think amber steel is really strong and a lot of amber steel decks play kita right now so i'm surprised that this card is selling for as low as 596 wow mox valley games you have 10 of them i'm gonna buy four well i want foils so i'm not gonna buy the non the non foils but yeah that's really good as you can see we have people who have been buying multiples of these for around five to seven dollars which is really good to see um i think that this legendary is gonna see a lot more playability in this format than we're thinking so um it might even be more than 10 bucks so if you do want to save a little bit of money uh right maybe, maybe consider getting these uh, throughout opening weekend because uh, we did see how sad beast last format went from a like 15 dollar legendary to a like 40 dollar legendary a plus cards has the foils for 20 dollars which is not bad kita's a pretty popular character overall so $20 foil for the legendary that, that is that is kind of high when, when the non foils are less than 10 bucks so but you can get three of them from a plus cards so our next card is going to be Jim Hawkins another very popular card that I'm surprised is selling for this low we have a lowest verified today of 1320 by Mox Valley Games we have a couple oh look at all these cold foils that have been selling today um the cold foils have been consistently selling for more than $25 very interesting very interesting I think the card's really good it has the word free in it I think cards that have the word free in it are good in Lurkana. So let's take a look at the lowest verified foil today. There's uh, 25 listings. And if you do want a lowest verified foil, it's going to be, ooh, 2870. So interesting. The Jim Hawkins is like double the price on the, from the non-foil to the foil range. Milo Thatch coming down in price, obviously, since the... Um, Pre-release uh, prices were super inflated. Uh, now you can get a Milo Thatch Legendary for as low as eleven seventy from John's Entertainment. Pretty interesting. I think the card's just okay. I don't know if it's going to see any playability this format. I honestly can't think of like a, a super consistent build to play this card. So I don't know if it's going to end up being more than a ten dollar Legendary. When we've seen some Legendaries like like the fairy godmother or the snow white range from like five to eight dollars you know what i mean it's only a couple bucks more than what i think it's going to settle at but you know i just think maybe you wait on some of these cards ursula deceiver of all though is a very popular card in the meta and in general like we already know this is going to have an errata because apparently it was printed in storyborn but it was supposed to be printed in dreamborn and we did get confirmation from team lurkana that there is going to be an errata in the future for this card 
But if you do want one today, the lowest verified is going to be by In The Zone for $24.49. So it's about a $25 legendary, almost up there with Jafar. Basically the same price as Jafar because Jafar has been selling for $25. If you do want a foil version though, they're kind of expensive. They're $42 for the lowest verified for this cold foil. Wow. All in all, Card Kings is going to have you for $42.01 with a dollar shipping. Uh, Mox Valley Games, you guys are dope. You guys have multiple <laughs> multiple copies listed and I, I really appreciate that. Um, I just a little bit out of my budget but a foil home legendary of this card i feel like it's not bad as you can see this price drop wasn't too big from the pre-sales the pre-sales were selling for like 55 to 59 and then it kind of just came down to 42 41 i think a lot of it has to do with that errata so if you did want to play this card unfortunately there is going to be a little bit of a price tax because a lot of people do know about that errata that's been confirmed so it's looking like people are going to want to hold this for collectability specifically um, but i do know that some people just don't care about it <laughs> so you know I, it's a good card though it's a very good card a lot of people are playing this in the new Emerald Steel Control deck that plays Beast Relentless like we were just talking about. Um, this has a combo with uh, Sheriff and uh, the Bayou. Go look up those videos. There's plenty of videos on that combo. But we saw a lot of interesting sales movement with this Beast Relentless, guys. On Monday when I made the video, the lowest verified was like 20 bucks. And literally that same day, the lowest verified went all the way up to like $35, $40. People were listing the cold foils for dang near $100. It was ridiculous if you guys follow me on twitter then i was making some posts basically talking about do not buy these today like wait until friday just wait until the hype is down wait until the meta is established because people were just over hyping this card and a lot of a lot of uh, some you know people were just straight up saying like oh it's gonna skyrocket and it was getting bought out and then um yeah i just i just didn't like it it was very fishy business man um and I, I that's why i like to say like just be patient with your sales when when there's hype or when um you know when you see these cards trending up or like don't go chasing them you know what i mean there's just literally no point and as of today which is literally four days later they're back down to twenty dollars you know so unfortunately like i said we did see a lot of people buying these for almost double the price throughout the week um as you can see on the 21st plenty of sales happening in that 30 dollar range on the 20th oof two for 38 dollars one for 37 dollars 38.99 look at these cold foils somebody bought a light plate cold foil for 75 dollars i'm honestly relieved to see that nobody bought the cold foil for that hundred dollar listing but this still stings bro uh, on the 20th that you know that same day somebody bought one for 70 dollars the cold foil it's just too much guys like don't go chasing this hype like it's a good card don't get me wrong but like the, the, it was it was just one combo video and it just loses to cogsworth like the whole deck this is not it loses to cogsworth guys you can't do the combo if your opponent drops a cogsworth on you so you know once people started realizing that look at these prices just come shooting down cold foils were selling for 30 dollars again and as of today like i said you can buy the beast relentless for as low as 18 dollars with a dollar shipping by sunny cow collectibles so um it's settling back at 20 dollars, which is kind of like what we said when it was where it was on monday um and if you want a cold foil today the lowest verified for the cold foil is going to be 35 dollars. and i was posting on twitter guys there's going to be plenty more listings that go up throughout this week once people realize that there's hype and that people are actually paying this much for the hype everyone wants to get in on the piece of the pie everyone wants to make some sales you know what i mean so they're going to just list more and more and the more people list the more that we're going to have the prices come down there is three listings on monday today we have 20 for the cold foil so that's that's why the price is so different though it's verified like i said is johnny b cards 35 dollars after that though they start hitting that 40 dollar mark so i do have one uh beast relentless foil i'm gonna keep it because i do feel like this could probably shoot up to like that 40 45 dollar range and if it is as popular as um the sad beast then you know we'll see it shoot up as high as like 60 bucks maybe which is kind of cool um overall it's a great card you know i like that i have one i like that it's gonna keep its value but dang don't go chasing these 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 trends it's just not worth it Speaking of Beast, this is the sad Beast right here who's been kind of bouncing up and down from price. We have some sales today that were happening for that $41 range. Um, and today's lowest verified listing is going to be by DCG Collects for $40 and a dollar shipping. So they're no longer really in that $45 to $50 range. Um, they actually kind of calmed down and they're, it looks like they're selling for closer to $40 again, um, which is cool to see. Uh, still an amazing card, this format. I think if you have these, just keep your play sets because this is going to be a long lasting steel card. The foils are selling though today for a whopping $63.99 sunny cow collectibles lowest verified after that halem halem manu could has it for $65 and a dollar shipping so uh beast like i said tragic hero gonna see some meta play for sure this format and more than likely in the future formats as well
but it did kind of calm down in price in terms of the non-foil market because I do think a lot of people either like independent sellers or just like people who play the game competitively who just need to you know make some money for the new format are going to be getting rid of their cards that's why we're seeing a lot of other cards kind of come down in price too um like the Mufasa's or this Bell Strange but Special kind of bouncing off that $30 range today's low as verified is going to be by a cash connection for $25.55 so we did see some sales happening throughout the week for that $28 to $29 range and you know it's getting a little closer to $25 and it's they're falling a little bit they're starting to calm down but the lowest verified for the foils are still in that $45 range which is nice to see for Bell Mufasas are still really good this format cold foils sold today for $30 somebody bought four Mufasas for $18 I'm pretty sure that's plus shipping so it may be like a dollar shipping or something but lowest verified today is going to be by, ba by baby Janie's cards for $16.15 also another card that's kind of calming down in price a little bit i think a lot of people are obviously going to switch their budget into buying the into the inkland sealed product because we all want to crack packs so i think a lot of the singles this week from the previous formats are going to start kind of coming down in price a little bit we're also seeing this with like cards like ursula elsa spirit of winter surfer stitch the, all those cards were like more than 15 dollars, and as of today you can find them for like 12 to 14 dollars, which is a couple bucks less but I, I do feel like people are just taking less interest in those cards because everybody wants to play the new format you know what i mean Maleficent Monstrous Dragon is a card that's been coming down in price as well. Today, the lowest verified is going to still be a $30 listing, but it's not even on the first page, so I'm not going to go to it, but because we have so many listings of this card, you can find them for less than $30. We have Zimbaro's Card Shop. That's kind of cool. They have six of them for you for less than $30. Bucks, 27 with a dollar shipping. And there's 161 listings now. There's almost 200 listings for this card, my goons. Um, you know, as you can see, uh, it, every time a new set comes out, it does make a little bit of an impact on some of the older cards. Uh, the, the format seems like it's going to be very fast, so we might not even see Maleficent Monsters Dragon make an appearance anytime soon. Um, and I do feel like towards the end of the Floodborne format, people were already cycling this card out of their deck. Rapunzel's still confidently selling for around that $35 range. Baby J, same person. They have it for $32 with a dollar shipping. Sunny Card Collectibles, they have it for $32 as well. So it came down a little bit. They were like $35 plus. Now they're $32. Nothing too crazy. They're still within that same price range though. So I'm not really considering that as a drop or nothing. But the cold foils for these are still selling for a hefty $70. Some, there we have some confirmed cold foil sales right here from today. $73, $70, which is cool to see. So that's uh, always nice for cards like Rapunzel. Stats cards has you for $69.01 today if you do want a cold foil Rapunzel. Uh, we also have the Mickey BLT. We want to check out the cold foils on this one because I, like I said, I have one. I love checking these cold foils because um, these are still selling for close to 100 bucks. We have one verified lowest listing by Titan Games Online for $85. Okay. After that though, Picante TCG has it for uh, 90 bucks but it's a light plate and then the next near mint though is going to be by friendly market for a hundred dollars and 99 cents so only 10 listings for the mickey blt foil i'm going to keep holding on to mine let me know what you guys think of the blt mickey not that many uh, cold foil sales happening though the listings are there but we did have a cold foil sale that happened on the 21st for a hundred dollars there you go so you know and then another one for a hundred dollars on the 21st so that, that 80 some dollar listing is like a little bit of a discount you know if you guys want to pick up a mickey blt foil it's less than a hundred bucks there Hades Infernal Schemer, a very popular card in Sapphire. Still selling for around $20. We have 81 listings and we have no verified sellers on the first page. So that means there's plenty to go around and they're going to be listed for around $20. $18.50 for $0.99, $18.75 with a dollar. The cold foils though, there's only nine listings left on the cold foils. And the lowest verified is $50 bucks by Booster Packs, $49.99. And we even have a cold foil sale for $49 and another cold foil sale for $59 that happened today. So that's kind of interesting. So some of these cold foils keeping their, keeping their prices, you know, Bell, Hidden Art as we get into the Inklands format this card is a little better because we can use it with morph now those verified today is actually going to be $11.99 by tables towers so we were selling this card sell for way less than 10 bucks at one point and we even have a confirmed sale today for $12.72 so around $12 to you know around $12 for the bell hidden archer wow even the cold foes are going up now we have a lowest verified cold foe for $34.97 by play to win games oh that's really cool because these were selling for like 20 some dollars last week so cold foil bell hidden archers going up in price i told you my goons i mentioned it in the last market watch that a lot of foil legendaries they're just really good to collect especially when they're princesses so i'm kind of mad i did not get myself <laughs> these when they were like 20 bucks because i was looking at them all of last week remember but we're not done with the Into the Inklands cards. I'm going to take a look at some of the more popular cards that I've been seeing a lot of people play. Some of these prices are a little bit shocking to me because I didn't think they'd be this cheap. Prince Eric, Expert Helmsman, is a super rare that comes out in Into the Inklands. Um, I'm comparing this to something like uh, Mother like Mother Gothel or something like that because um, these were selling for like around... 
ten dollars when that card was really popular i mean or lady tremaine sorry not mother gothel <laughs> comparing this to something like lady tremaine uh, that was selling for like 10 to 15 dollars at one point uh that was a super rare so these out the gate are super duper cheap uh, you can buy them for 269 by in the zone or mox valley games again has you for 270 so about three dollars for the super rare which i think is a very good super rare in any amethyst deck and ruby amethyst deck because it goes very well with teeth and ambitions wow they're only 10 bucks by badlands gaming which is cool to see a plus cards has you for 1098 and like i said you can buy multiples to save some shipping fees this one i do want to do because i want to play this card i don't know if i want four i think i want four i'm gonna put four in my cart because i want this card i don't I, i'm just gonna have play sets i'm probably only gonna play two in my deck but i just have a good feeling about this card on the foil market so there's some other cards that are really popular sheriff of nottingham this card's pretty good as you can see the prices have just been falling and and during the official launch day because now we can actually see how many are listed we have 156 listings Today, they're selling for $5. As of last night, though, they were selling for dang near 15 Look at this. Oh, my goodness. On the 20th, they were selling for $20, bucks, $13, $15. And then, boom, we hit the 23rd. And now, they go all the way down to $5. Stop buying pre-order singles. It does not make sense. Those was verified today, though. is going to be $4.46 by Pro Play Games. If you guys want these in foils, which I highly recommend, they're only $12.61 by A Plus Cards. All-American CCG, $10.00 and 61 cents with two dollars shipping so about 12 to 13 dollars if you want these for the foil range i think this is good it's a very popular super rare i think it has the potential to be as high as five to ten dollars on the non-foil market so to currently pay only 12 dollars right now is really good a lot of times on the very on the, on the opening day because there's so many like shops that are selling their cards they all gonna try and you know be competitive with each other so some of these cold foil uh, singles are gonna be a little undervalued in my opinion Madame Medusa is another popular card. This one is selling for as low as $3.15 by TCG Roast. So less than $5 for this card. Very good in Ruby. We also have a whole new world, by the way, which was seeing a lot of hype in the beginning of the week because of the new uh, loops that we have that we can play with Emerald Steel. Um, but these are still as high as $15, which is great to see. So Table Towers has you for the lowest near mint. Whole new world non-foil for $15. If you guys want a cold foil, whole new world, then we can find one today for as low as $30 dollars oh my goodness by enchanted fine so that's really interesting to see a uh, whole new world being like a staple um since the first chapter and as we can see it's still uh seeing a lot of sales movement today a bunch of sales happening looking like everybody wants to play the emerald steel deck with the chief nottingham um and it, look at this so we have multiple sales for that 30 dollar range so interesting interesting i like this card i i, I have um some like two foils i should have picked up play sets months ago but i just didn't because um i you know i i just i didn't have enough money but again Again, cold foils, it's where it's at in my opinion. Let's take a look at Chernabog. A lot of people are trying to play Chernabog decks today. We have a bunch of sales for that $3 range. TCG Roast has you for $2.98. Wow, super duper cheap for the Chernabogs. I think you should maybe pick those up. I don't know if you need to play more than two in your deck, so they're probably going to stay cheap. And then along came Zeus as a rare from Into the Inklands. That's super popular in steel decks for good reason. Cold foils selling today for as low as $5. Look at that. Somebody bought two of them for $5.49. I think that's a come up, personally. And as low as verified for the non-foils by TCG Roast for $2.10. Ten cents. By the way, just letting you know, Strength of a Raging Fire was like a ten dollar rare at one point, um, and it wasn't even played that much. And I feel like everybody's playing, and then along came Zeus. So maybe pick them up right now, but while there's still only about two dollars, and there's still a bunch of others that you can pick up an entire playset from with just one shipping fee, which is nice to see. But I personally think you should be buying those cold foils if they're as if they're around five to six dollars. Just get the cold foils, my goons. Bare necessities, same thing. As low as three dollars. Lowest verified by In the Zone, two seventy two. Cold foils, what are they selling at? Let's take a look at the cold foils because I want cold foil bare necessities. Personally, I do. They're going to be as low as $5.90 by Banland Games. And that's really cool. We have BWG Kentucky for $5.91. There aren't any listings that have multiple. Uh, so we can only buy them um, from different sellers. Lowest verified for the Queen's Mirror Castle is going to be $2.60 by TCG Roast. So another popular card that's less than $3. Most of the rares are selling for less than 3 bucks, which is interesting. Um, Morph, extremely popular as well. Remember... Cinderella Barroom Sensation was selling for around $10 to $15 at one point. We used to have $20 rares at one point. We'll see how popular some of these rares are, though. I'm not sure if this warrants like <laughs> you know these prices to go up but i do see a lot of people playing morph online plenty of sales though but plenty of listings too 148 listings tcg roast has you for 320 so a little bit more than three dollars and if you want cold foil morphs which i think might just be the better play because morph seems like a long lasting card they're only ten dollars ten dollars for a cold foil morph does not seem bad at all john silver i want to mention is 
going to be going up in price a little bit because this is an immediate out to um, that 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 uh, Sheriff of Nottingham loop. <laughs> not letting your opponents uh, quest a card will basically not let them resolve their Bayou. Um, we have a bunch of sales happening for that $5 range again. Sunny Cow Collectibles has you for as low as $4.47 with a dollar shipping. But let's take a look at these cold foils because cold foil legendaries are just the goo in my opinion. The Wasteland Gaming has you for $25. After that, $26.99 and then Mana Ramp has you for $28. So not $30 but we've been seeing the price go up a little bit in these last couple weeks from 20 to um till 25 and now we're hitting close to 30 on john silver cold foil maui's are seeing some popularity because it outs most locations lowest verified for the cold foil is going to be 11.74 with two dollars shipping basically 13 dollars by digital high five almost 15 dollars for the cold foil maui's cogsworth is another immediate out to the sheriff of nottingham loop because you know with cogsworth they just can't deal the same amount of damage with you um because cogsworth is going to give all your characters resist lowest verified for cogsworth today is going to be Eleven cards for two dollars and twenty cents. I believe that's a little bit higher than what it was a week ago. And the lowest verified foil is going to be by Top Cut Comics LP for four dollars and sixty six cents. So I think that's really good. Less than five dollars, around five dollars for your foil Cogsworth. When this is like an immediate out to that Emerald Steel deck that everybody's so hyped about. You know, just food for thought. Maybe consider that. But now let's take a look at some of these Enchanted rares. You guys thought I forgot about the Enchanted rares, but we didn't. We have some Into the Inklands Enchanted Rares. Not all of them are listed on TCG Player, probably because they're kind of hard to pull. Which, by the way, I do want to mention that we do have confirmation that it's, it's basically looking like the pull rates are not anything different in this set. You know what I mean? Uh, we have some posts from uh, John C. the Inkwell. Go check out their YouTube channel, Amazing People. Uh, the Forbidden Mountain as well um, basically confirmed that they opened multiple boxes. Uh, I believe the Forbidden Mountain opened eight boxes and only pulled one Enchanted, which was the Enchanted Morph. Um, John C. confirmed as well that um, while opening multiple cases he basically has been pulling the same amount in terms of ratios that he was pulling from the first chapter and Rise of the Floodborne so I know a lot of people had questions about whether or not um, there's going to be like a different ratio of pulls for the Enchanted this time around because we have more Enchanted in the set but it's looking like no it's looking like we're still averaging about maybe one Enchanted per case which basically means that the Enchanted that you want to pull is going to be probably a little bit harder to come by because I know a lot of people didn't really like the location Enchanted or the item enchantments. I did see some comments in the last video um, saying that, you know, we weren't really fond of the idea of it. So I do think that might make an impact on some of these cooler enchanted rares like Jafar Shrike and Illusionist, which is listed for as low as $350 today by FRC LLC. And there's only four listings. After that, it goes $370, $369. So almost $400 bucks for this one. Um, and we do have some confirmed sales for around that $200 range in the morning. Um, but, you know, after that, they've just all been bought up and they've been sticking at $350. So they've been selling for closer to $200. 250 200 but listing is at 350 we'll see if any of those sell though we also have the ursula deceiver of all this is another popular enchanted plenty of sales today happening in that 225 dollar range low is verified today with 13 listings is going to be 225 dollars as well which is kind of cool to see and then we even have a Cusco's palace on tcg player um this is like like i mentioned some people don't want the location enchanted rares um so these are as low as a hundred dollars very similar to like the uh, rise of the floodborne enchanted that people weren't really buying like P or um, Namari, for example. Um, but today we have it for as low as $107 for NW Card Games. And we do have a sale yesterday selling for $100 exactly. Let me know what you guys think of that. Are you guys interested in the location and chances now that we see them in person? Uh, how do you feel about the fact that a lot of people have been um, confirming that the pool rates are basically the same and, you know, we're not getting more enchanted uh, basically to be able to pull from? Uh, and it's basically going to make it a little bit harder, in my opinion, to get some of the enchanted that you're specifically looking for. But let's check eBay real quick because, like I I mentioned tcg player does not have all the enchanted rares listed up yet i'm sure some sellers just don't have them to sell um but we do have some listings here for cars like bell's house 250 we have and then along came zeus listed for 200 dollars we have a morph here listed for 250 dollars um let's see we have the a sorcerer's hat listed for 175 the captain hook listed for 175 that's kind of interesting another captain hook listed for 230 uh, these are all listings though no confirmed sales on these because when i checked the confirmation on sales there hasn't been that many sales on the enchanted market on ebay we have a recent sale for the Cusco's Palace, which was $99, and that's the only one that we can find. Even when I go through eBay's um, comp and completed and sold, it does not show any other ones other than this one and the, this uh, RLS Legacy that sold for $202. So if you have an RLS, selling, uh, I would sell it for $200. If you have the Cusco's, maybe sell it for $100. Personally, though, I did see somebody ask, hey, I pulled a Grand Montala. What should I sell it for today? I wouldn't sell any of my Enchanted Rares for less than 100 bucks. I feel like because we've seen the way the 
Enchanted Rare Market has moved in Rise of the Floodborne and the first chapter. I, I would probably more than likely want to sell my Enchanted Rares for like 150 That would be like my lowest asking price. And then if I know nobody buys it, I wouldn't really be tripping out, but I would hold it for sure because I feel like a, at least $100 or 120 is like reasonable. But there is a lot of hype behind some of these Enchanted. So, you know, if you guys feel that you deserve more, ask for 200 ask for 250 But I do feel like there's going to be um, enough to go around because there's a lot of ink lands printed. But like I said before, the pull rates are the same. So if you start pulling location enchanted or item enchanted and you didn't want those, um, you know, I think it's going to make the impact. I think, I think it's going to make an impact on the price on some of the cooler enchanted like the characters that we're all looking for. And since we're talking about enchanted, let's finish off the video with everybody's favorite, most expensive card in Lorcana. The enchanted Elsa Spirit of Winter has been seeing some sales movement yesterday and today. Yesterday, somebody bought one for $800. That's so good to see. Today, one sold for $700. I'm pretty sure there was some shipping included. And then another one sold uh, today as well for $789. Um, so again, very close to $800. Lowest verified today for the near mint is going to be $788. And then after that, we have BK's card shop for $790. There are some light plates if you guys want to buy some light plate ones for less than 800 but it's around that 750 to $800 mark, and they've been confidently selling at that price range throughout the whole week. We've been seeing it. We've been covering Elsa throughout the Market Watch videos, and yeah, this is like a seven to $800 card now. Uh, we also have Maui, Hero to All, seeing um, some more sales movement. We had a couple sales throughout this week for 150 170 170 Today, the lowest verified is by TBS Comics Florida for 165 so that's nice to see. Maui almost at 200 bucks going up. Bell Strange but Special. This is another one that's also going up, trending a lot with some sales yesterday. Multiple sales for that $280 range. $275, $280, $275, $280. So that's kind of nice to see. Um, and today, the lowest verified listing is going to be, ooh, $320. But this is a CGC9. After that, if you want a raw, $325 as well. Shout out you guys for having these uh, Enchanted Bells. More than $300, the lowest verified listing. There's non-verified sellers, and you can get them for $275 with five bucks shipping or 275 you know and if you guys want to get a little bit discount that's fine um but it's basically a 300 dollars enchanted rare now and just to finish this off we're going to look at the most expensive enchanted from rise of the floodborne cinderella barroom sensation has been selling this week for 275 to that 280 dollar mark we have some light plate versions for 260 but if you want a near mint version cat the cat tcg has you for 275 with a dollar shipping then the cool place has it for 277 as well so same thing with about almost 300 dollars for the cinderella barroom sensation and then the cheapest enchanted rare from the rise of the floodborne is still selling for about 100 bucks which is good to see because i was a little worried when these were when these were listed for like 60 75 dollars and now they're confidently selling uh this week we have another 98 dollar sale and lowest verified is going to be by burlington card shop for 97 99 and then there's 28 listings left so it's looking like there's enough to go around but that is going to be all for this market watch video on the very first day of into the inklands format thank you my lorcana goons for sticking around remember we do these every month Monday and Friday. So if you like this content, come back on Monday so we can see where these prices have been going. But be patient with your deck building. I think you guys should really take into consideration what you're going to, you know, want to build for the meta. Try and make some trades instead of trying to make some of these crazy purchases. Stop chasing the hype when we see cards, you know, going up like that beast relentless. I'm really looking forward to see what the meta turns into. But until then, remember to stay tuned to Lurkana Goons and we will see you goons next time.